Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and give this thing a tune-up because we're going to be putting this on Jet's junk in the future. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Okay guys, so before we get started with the four things that we need to go over in, these, uh, in this go-kart for the tune-up, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to do with this engine. So this engine is a 420cc Lifen engine, which was made by Home Depot. And this is going to go on Jet's junk, or the Yurk Dog Spire box. So, we need to get this engine running in tip-top condition, and after about a year, year and a half of storage, we should probably just go through the, the four things that, you know, every engine really needs to run properly. So those four things are actually, one, clean air, two, clean fuel, which the carburetor is what we're talking about, three, spark, which is the spark plug, and four, we need to go ahead and change the engine oil just in case, you know. It hasn't really seen a lot of action, but just for peace of mind, we're going to go ahead and do that anyways in the today's uh, video. So let's go ahead and get started with checking the air filter right now. Okay guys, so right here in order to go ahead and check the, the air filter, it's a really simple process. There's a wing nut right here which can be taken off by hand. So let's go ahead and take this off. Done. And I have a washer right here just for safety. And voila, you pull it off, and there's your air cleaner. So in order to inspect your air cleaner property, there's another wing nut. Here's your wing nut. And you can just go ahead and grab your air filter and pull straight up. Looks like mine has a pre-filter on it. So this little foamy stuff, this is also a, a pre-filter to your air filter to make sure that you have the best quality air going in. So you just want to visually inspect it. But if it's really dusty, like, and you do that, and dust starts coming off, you should consider changing your air filter. Just make sure that it's in nice condition and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and move on to the carburetor. And for this, we're gonna need some tools. Okay guys, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and use one of my favorite tools, the 10 millimeter socket. Uh, so first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is remove your thing from your air filter. This is part of the air filter. So then we can go ahead and take off this nut right here, break it, another one right here break it and then one up here a little bit a little bit more challenging right there it's facing downwards you see right there and you can go ahead and break it by pushing the left and so i'll get back to you once all these bolts are removed y'all and before we pull all this crap off let's go ahead and deal with the the carburetor bowl so we can have a, a nice good inspection of the carburetor so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bowl by removing this 10 millimeter bolt. This is also a 10 millimeter, uh, god dang it, 10 millimeter bolt! This bolt is for draining the carburetor, so if there's any fuel in here, but uh, there isn't, what we're doing now is removing the bolt. So let's go ahead and stick our 10 mil on there. And since I already loosened it by hand, we can just do this. Just look inside it. Ours is relatively shiny, so there's no crud. Typically, there it looks like there's like gunked up green stuff or toothpaste or there's no toothpaste in here but you know stuff like that that's down there and for that you can use a simple bowl of carburetor cleaner or you can try to work it out with a thing so it's all good now let's go ahead and uh move on to removing everything else so now that we're at this point we can go ahead and remove this and inspect our gaskets along with our carburetor so uh first i mean you can expect that expect that Inspect this gasket and then also check your go ahead and open up your choke and look inside the carburetor Everything should be relatively fine and uh, as long as all your gaskets are good um, On the outside and on the inside uh, when I say the inside, I mean closest to the engine inside side of the carburetor uh, Everything should be good and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and move on to the spark plug. Okay guys So let's go ahead. Can you see me? Bag it up. Bring it on. Bag it up. Okay guys, now we're going to go ahead and take out the spark plug on this one so we can just... Mmm, look at that. That's solid carbon right there. So since this is a trash plug, and it's not like platinum or like zinc coated or anything, we can just take a wire brush to it. Let's, do this. Let's just make sure the spark works. Hey Trey, you want to do a science, a science experiment? So hold it right here, and you're just going to look at it real, real close and make sure that the spark's coming out, okay? You ready? That fucking shocked me. <laughs> it shocked me. Is that what it's supposed to do? Did you see the spark though? Yeah, I saw it. Remember, when you're doing torque, the torque specs are very important. And you want to give it half a... There we go. And now, we're going to go ahead and install everything that we took off right here before we go ahead and proceed to the oil, okay? Oh, okay, it's done. Now we can move on to changing the oil. 
Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil. We're at the front of the engine right here. Uh, here's the drain bolt. There's one in the rear too, but I'm gonna use this one because it's more convenient. Uh, we have a, a breaker bar here with a, an adapter and a 12 mil. So let's go ahead and try to break this. Okay, Trey, help me out. Okay, you ready? Yeah. But yeah, let's just go ahead and let that drain. We'll get back to you whenever we're done. Okay, guys, now that it's um, thoroughly drained, we can go ahead and put the drain bolt back in. Okay, guys, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and fill up the oil to wherever it's supposed to go. Okay, so I got some funnels. Okay, now that we've got our funnel, we can go ahead and pour this, this guy in. Voila, we're good. So now that we're done changing the oil, let's go ahead and put some gas in it and start it up. Okay guys, so we got some gas. I'm sure you recognize what this is from. This is from the Hammerhead. If not, go check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy it a lot. Okay, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Hey, somebody come hold this. <laughs> hey, look at that door. Heck Okay guys, so now that we've uh, successfully started the engine um, and we ran some fuel through it, I think we should be doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I think we're ready to go ahead and close out the video. If you enjoyed this short but informative video about me trying to start this engine and uh, almost dying because I sprayed a whole bunch of brake clean inside the intake manifold. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos, don't check out my other early videos. They're actually trash, but check out the latest one. Um, so yeah, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you have any feedback, just go ahead, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.